All right, today we are going to discuss and demonstrate balance ligamentous tension of the proximal tibia. I've already maintained consent from my patient. So what we're going to do first is we are going to establish a diagnosis. So I'm gonna contact her distal femur and her proximal tibia. And I'm going to use my cephalad hand to maintain stability at the femur and then internally rotate and externally rotate tibia and see what her diagnosis is. She has more freedom internally rotated. So her diagnosis is a left tibia internally, internal rotation. So for the actual technique, you are still gonna maintain the same contacts, the distal femur, and back at the proximal tibia, right around the tibial tuberosity. I'm going to apply a downward force and then a compressive force between the femur and the tibia. And then stabilizing the femur, I'm going to rotate the tibia internally and externally until I feel a balance. And then once I feel that balance and that ebb and flow, I'm gonna hold this position for 90 seconds to two minutes. Uh, things that I am on the lookout for to feel the ebb and flow and I would be feeling for any tissue texture changes suggesting a balancing of tension, maybe temperature changes suggesting an increase in circulation or even just relaxation of the tissues. Anything that would suggest that there would be decreased tension at this area. And then after about 90 seconds are done, I would return the tissues to neutral and then I would reassess. So as far as reassessing, I would maintain the same contacts and then it seems as if she has greater rotation both internally and, and externally, suggesting that we treated her. And that concludes our technique.